morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Please, if you want to unmute yourself, we will just pray together in the spirit, asking the Holy Spirit to take absolute control this morning, Amen. to pray through us the way he wants. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Welcome <laughs> Amen. We are going to start with Thanksgiving this morning. Today is the 21st of December. The Lord has kept us. The Almighty God has been faithful to us. From the beginning of this year, to where we are now, and we know that God is going to see us till the end of this year for many years to come. Amen. That of our days we will fulfill in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our children's children and our Amen. children, their children's Amen. children, if the Lord tarries. Amen. You know, I, I have so many testimonies, but um, the, I think we'll just have a testimony day when we share the goodness and the mercy of God. But what I just want to say is that during this time, I have seen the power of God. I have seen how quickly symptoms can run away when you stand your ground. When you say, my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. I'm not trying to be healed. I'm already healed. So we'll go to Psalm 34. And this is our song in Jesus' name. Amen. If you are there, if you also want to read along, we're just going to bless the name of the Lord. The psalmist says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continue in my mouth. In my mouth, not just in my Bible, not just in my heart, but in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he was me. I delivered you from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant, and their faces were ashamed. Amen. 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 I want us to focus on some on, on verse four. It says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. This is not a case of win some and lose some. No. This is complete deliverance from the Lord. This is wholeness, nothing missing. I want us to bless the Lord this morning. Open your own mouth in your own way and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Father, Lord, I just want to say thank you for the Almighty. I bless you. Yes, Lord, Thank you, God, 
Amen. Amen. Verse 10 of the same Psalm 34 says, The young lions lack food and suffer hunger, but they will seek, inquire of, and require of the Lord by right of their need and on the authority of his word. None of them shall lack any beneficial thing. That's our word in Jesus' name. We will not lack any good thing in Jesus' name. Lord, we just want to thank you for this morning. Thank you, Lord, for your word, oh God. Lord, I just ask, oh God, that you continue with us, oh God. Have your way as we pray this morning. Let your name be glorified, oh God. And by the time we finish, my Father, let all the glory and all the honor and all the adoration be given to you. Thank you for the testimonies we have so far. Thank you, O God, because you will strengthen them, you will preserve them, and you'll do more in our midst, O God. We worship you this morning. We thank you for who you are, God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I'm going to hand you back to the person who is leading this morning. My husband is leading this morning, so I'm handing over to him. Good morning, all, and thank you for joining. Let's just continue to give praise to God. Let's thank him for grace to come together as his children even those who are praying concerning our children and the generation after us. Father, we thank you once again this morning. Thank you for your grace, oh God. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you, Father, Lord, for your power, oh God. Thank you, Father, for all the weeks that we have prayed for our children, oh God. Thank you for many, many, many testimonies that you have given us as individuals and as families, oh God. Father, we have come yet again this morning as those that have their faith in you, oh God, those that trust you, that your word is true, your word is everlasting, that your promises are yea and amen, oh God. Thank you for your word concerning our children. Thank you, Father, Lord, because we know that every word that you have written is for us, oh God. It's for our children and for our children's children, oh God. So, Father, we do not come this morning to pray in our wisdom, but Lord, we want to bring your word back to you, oh God. Thank you because you have exalted your word above your own name, oh God. So, Lord, we bring your word back to you this morning, knowing that you watch your word and bring it to pass, oh God. Father, we thank you. We give you praise this morning. We exalt you, mighty Father. Thank you, everlasting God. Thank you, Father, Lord, because as we pray this morning, we'll pray your heart this yes, morning, Lord. even concerning our children, oh God, yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you praise, Jehovah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We're going to pray this morning that even our children will be 
assured of the everlasting love of God over their lives. Yeah. If you go to Psalm 103, verse 17, Psalm 103, verse 17, the Bible says, but the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to the children's children. The mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting. We're going to pray that our children will be assured that God loves them with an everlasting love and that his mercy is upon them from everlasting to everlasting. Father, we bring our children to you this morning, oh God. Father, we ask, oh God, that you give them understanding, oh God, that they'll be assured of your love for them, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we ask, oh God, that you give them confidence in your word, oh God, that your mercy is for them. Mercy is for them, oh God, that your mercy that is from everlasting to everlasting is for them, oh God, that Lord, they will continue knowing that your love for them is everlasting. Your love for them is unwavering, oh God. Even when they do make their mistakes, they will know that your love is everlasting, oh God. They will come back to you knowing that you are a loving Father. Father, we thank you this morning. Father, give them an understanding of your love, oh God, that they may be able to run back to your arms every time, knowing that you love them forever, oh God. Even for us as their parents, oh God, may we be able to display your everlasting love towards our children, oh God. That Lord, even through us, they will see your everlasting love, Lord Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, help us, oh God, that we will show them your love, even through the way we speak to them, the way we, we talk to them, the way we, we correct them, the way we just love them, oh God. May they see Christ through us, Jehovah. May they see the work of Calvary, even through us, Almighty Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, because you love the world so much that you gave your only begotten for us, oh God. Let our children come to the knowledge and the realization that your love for them is everlasting, oh God. Father, we thank you. We bless you, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord Almighty. We bless you, Jehovah. Yes. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We're going to pray that faith will be established in the hearts of our children. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us in Hebrews 11, verse 6, Hebrews 11, 6, I'm reading the NIV version. It says, it is impossible to please God without That's faith. faith. Mm -hmm. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists mm -hmm. and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. It is impossible to please God without faith. And anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. So we're going to pray this morning that faith, the faith that God talks about here will be established in the hearts of our children. That one, they would know that God exists. They will believe that God exists and that he's a rewarder of them who sincerely seek him and that our children will have the grace to sincerely seek him. Father, we bring our children before you this morning, and Lord, we ask that faith will be established in their hearts, O oh God. Your kind of faith, Jehovah, will be established in the hearts of our children. That, Lord, they will come to know that you exist, O oh God, and that you reward those who sincerely seek you, O oh God. Father, that our children will sincerely seek you in all their ways, they will sincerely seek you, O oh God. Concerning their lives, they will sincerely seek you, O oh God. Concerning everything, every decision that they want to make, O oh God, that they will sincerely seek you, O oh God. That, Lord, our children will have faith to look to you, O oh God. Even even for their care and concerns about life, oh God, they will look to you for direction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, you, they will not have faith in their friends, oh God. They will not have faith in, in 
in technology, oh God. They will not have faith in the things that they read except your word, oh God. That Lord, their faith will be completely hinged on you, Jehovah, in the mighty name of Jesus. That Lord, our children will not look to any man, oh God. They will not look to social media for things that they desire in life, oh God. But that Lord, they will look to you, Almighty God. Let faith arise in our children, O God. And Father, Lord, you will continue to show them your reward, O God. That Lord, you will reward them as they sincerely seek you, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus Christ. That Lord, even as this establish as you establish faith in them oh god their faith will grow from strength to strength in the name of jesus christ Father, Lord, they will not have faith in drugs, oh God. They will not have faith in alcohol. They will not go gambling, oh God. They will not have faith in sex or any other illicit thing, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. But they will look to you, God, as their rewarder, the only one that can satisfy their needs and their desires, oh God. Just like you have promised, oh God. Father, may our children always run to you, oh God, whenever they have a need, Lord Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ. Maso toria mandere ke maye ka ba 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 mando shkali prale ke te mondo so toria ba 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 je ke le makali ba 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 ye ke se ke te maraka so toria andere go shikata thank you Jesus thank you Father Lord because faith will arise in our children oh God faith will be established in their hearts oh God and their faith will grow from strength to strength oh God because Lord you will continually reward their faith in you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ thank you Lord Almighty. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The Bible tells us in Joshua 1.8, in the NIV version, it says, study this book of instruction continually. Joshua 1.8. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night, so you'll be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. We know that the knowledge of God only comes from abiding in his word. The Bible also tells us to study to show ourselves approved, a workman that need not be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. We're going to pray for our children that they would love the law of the Lord, Amen. that they would love the word of God, Amen. that they would have a deep desire to study the word of God Amen. and to obey the instructions written therein, Amen. and that they would love to meditate on his word day and night and to obey everything that is written in it and that that way they will prosper and succeed in all that they do. Father, we bring our children Father, before Lord, you, O oh God. Father, we ask, O oh God, that you put in them a love for your word, O oh God. Father, thank you because your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Father, Lord, let your word light up their path, O oh God. Let it lamp up their feet as they walk the journey of life in the name of Jesus. Your word is a shelter and a rock and a sword. Father, Lord, may our children love your law and your word, O God. May our children love your word, O God. And Lord, the grace will be everything that is written there in. Father, we release upon our children this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, our children will not just be those that read your word, oh God, but they will be those that practice and live your word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That in every area of their lives, oh God, they would always make reference to your word. Your word will be their guide, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, they will meditate upon your word day and night, and Lord, their success will be guaranteed in you, oh God. Father, you will prosper their ways, oh God. You will prosper their lives, oh God, as they obey your word. And Lord, every Everything that they touch, oh God, you will prosper, oh God. You will prosper them in their education. You will prosper those of them that are working, oh God. You will prosper them even in their work with you, Jehovah. They will know you more. They will love you more, oh God. 
God, and they will have a deeper desire for you day by day. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, they will not fail, they will not falter, oh God. But Lord, as they love your word, oh God, they will grow in you, oh God. They will be strong in you, oh God. They will be able to resist the devil, oh God. They will be able to resist every plan of the enemy concerning their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, Lord, the word will be their sword, oh God, to fight every attack of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, our children will be those that will say it is written in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, you will hide your word in their hearts, O God, so that they will not sin against you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rekata mando sotori and de 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 mazo koria man de 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 rakazaka tamakale bashi de 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 mando skalibra le kate man de 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 mazo koria bashi kata man de 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 mazo kata makaye ke ne boso dori and de 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 rakazaka tamakale bashi de 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 mando rokos koria ba 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 ye ke ne ke se ke te rakazo kotori and de ke ne ke ne ke ne malo koso kori and de 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 Thank you, Lord Almighty. Thank you because your word oh God, will be established in the lives of our children. Now, our children will love your word and your law, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Thank you, Lord Almighty. We bless your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We're going to pray for humility for our children, that even as they have achievements in their lives, in their education, as they excel, because we know that our children will excel, Amen. that they would remain humble. Amen. The Bible tells us in 1 Peter 5, 6, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6, it says, Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due course. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due course. That our children will be humble, that they will not be moved by their achievement, they will not glory in the things that you do in their lives, but that they will ascribe all the greatness and all the glory to God in every area of their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Father, we bring our children before Father, you, O God. Father, we ask, O God, that you put humility in their hearts, O God, that, Lord, they will not glory in the things that you do for them, O God. They will not glory in their own achievements. They will not even glory in the things that we as parents are able to do for them, O God. They will not glory in anything that they have, O God. But, Lord, they will humble themselves before you in all things, O God, so that you will continue to lift them up, O God, so that you will continue to promote them, O God. Father, we come against the spirit of pride, O God, the Lord says that pride comes before the fall, oh God. Father, there shall be no pride. We cast out the spirit of pride over in our children's lives, oh God. We say none of them will exhibit pride in the name of Jesus Christ. But our Lord, they will humble themselves before you so that you will continue to exalt them, oh God. Father, may our children find true greatness in you, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, reveal the secret of humility unto our children, O God, that they will come to an understanding that when they humble themselves before you, you will lift them up, O God. That, Lord, you will promote them, O God. You will exalt them, O God. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Mandesh kali prale kate mando soto re kaya kasa mandi kaya ekala soto mali kashe tele baba dere bos kari ani ikala ba ye kate le mando soto ya dere 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 raka zaka te li mando ro kuze kete mali kaba baba 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 kuze kete le mando ro kuze kiri ani re baba baba shaka tele kama ye kere boso do ya mande ikala ba ye kara baso do ya mande dere 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 ekala baso kuri ani kere boso Father, we kill, we destroy every spirit of strife that is hovering over our children, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we release your humility upon them, O oh God. Father, we thank you, we bless your name, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We're going to pray for strength for our children, that even as life may throw challenges at them, they would know that they can do all things to Christ who strengthens them. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. The Lord is our light and our salvation. He is our strength. He is our joy. We ask, oh God, that you be the strength of our children, oh God. Father, we ask, oh God, that they will continually look to you for strength. Let them come to realization that in their strength, they can do nothing, oh God. But that as they look to you, oh God, they will receive strength from on high in the name of Jesus Christ. In their academic pursuits, oh God, they will receive strength continually, oh God. For those of them that are working, they will receive strength for their work and wisdom for the work that they have to do in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not rely on their own strength. They will not rely on their own wisdom and knowledge, but they will look to you for strength, oh God. They will look to you for wisdom, oh God. Let them continually know that they can do all things through you, O oh God, who is their strength, O oh God. Mandoro kose kiri ya ba 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 ye ketele ke mandoro kose kiri bo kiri kata makaye kale ba 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 mandosh kai vrale kate mandosh oturi ya ba 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 Father strengthen our children O God rekata mandosh kuri ya mande de 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 Let them not rely on their own strength or even the strength of we of their parents O God but Lord may they continually look to you for strength O God mandosh kai vrale kate mande ze kete ze kete ne makuri ya ba shikata ma 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 Mama, 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 mandara ba ye kete le boso duri ya mama, mama. Father, continue to be their strength, O God. Ma zeka ye kate mandosh ka ibra le kete nondo soto. Ma le 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 kabo shanda ba halaba. E kale ba soko ya le 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 le. Thank you, Lord Almighty. Thank you because you will be their strength, O God, every day of their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you because they will not grow weary because their strength will continually be from you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 We're going to pray for courage for our children. Courage that as they face life, they will be assured that you are their strength and they will face life with the courage that you alone can give. Amen. In Joshua chapter 1, verse 9, Joshua 1, 9, the Bible says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Wherever our children go, they will continually be assured of the presence of God and they will have the courage to face whatever challenge may come their way. Father, this morning, we pray, O oh God, for courage for our children, O oh God. Courage to face the challenges that life may be. Bring to them, O oh God, knowing that their victory is assured in Christ Jesus. Father, Lord, may our children be strong and courageous, knowing that their strength comes from you, O oh God, knowing that you are the one that will give them courage to face the challenges of life, O oh God. Father, our children will not be frightened, they will not be afraid, they will not be dismayed, they will not be discouraged. For you, O oh God, you are with them wherever they go, O oh God. Father, may they be continually assured of, their, of your presence in their lives, O oh God. 
Father, let your presence continually be with our children. Oh God, Mandosh Kayebra, Lekate Mande. Father, may they be assured of your presence in their lives, oh God. Maso Toria Mande. Rekata Makuria Baba Baba Baba. Shandara Bayeke Televoso Kuria Mande. Ekala Bayeke Televoso Nura Baba Baba Shikata. Mandosh Kayebra, Lekate Mande. Rebosh Kayeka Leba Soturia. Shekete Leke Makuria Basikata Mande. Father, Lord, we ask that you release courage unto our children, O God. Maze Katama Puria Mandro Kuzekete Lele, Re Katama Puria and our children will be strong and courageous, O God. They will not be frightened, they will not be afraid, they will not be dismayed, O God. For you, our God, we continually be with them wherever they go, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Maso Turia Mandere Boshkaya. Reba ba 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 shakata le kama kaya kale ba sokori ande de 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 mandoro poskiri aba shikata mande de 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 mazaka ye kale ba sokori amanda ra 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 Father, we thank you, O God. Thank you for grace. Thank you for strength. Thank you for courage, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jehovah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Have prayed. Amen. Name, we have prayed. Amen. We're going to pray for peace over our children. Amen. That their hearts will be calm and peaceful as Amen. they go through their day and even as they sleep at night, that their hearts who carry the peace of heaven. Amen. The Bible tells us in Philippians 4, 6, Amen. Philippians 4, verse 6, it says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Amen. That they'll be assured that whenever they open their mouth to make a request of God, God is there to answer them. God is there to release unto them the glory and the peace of heaven. Mm -hmm. that they will not be anxious concerning anything. Mm -hmm. When they have to write exams, they will not be anxious. Mm -hmm. When they have to go to work, they will not be anxious. Mm -hmm. When they have to go to school, they will not be anxious. Mm -hmm. When they have to go out even with their friends, they will not be mm -hmm. anxious. Mm -hmm. The peace of God will garrison their hearts. Mm -hmm. They will be continually assured of the presence of God in their life. Jesus. They'll be assured of safety in God. Mm -hmm. They'll be assured that God is with them wherever Amen. they go in the name of Jesus. Yes. Father, we speak your peace Father, over our children, O oh God, that our children God. will not be anxious concerning anything, O oh God, oh, but in children. everything they will learn to pray and to seek you with thanksgiving. And they will make their desires and their requests known to you. And your peace that passes all human understanding, O oh God, who carries in their hearts, Lord Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we come against anxiety, O oh God. We say our children will not be anxious, O oh God, but that your peace will be upon them, Lord Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ. Ye kalabaso kura basha de 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 de. Mandoska irale kate mandoso kuri ababa ababa ababa. Re kata makolo kose kete lika mande de 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 de. Mande de 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 de. Maso kuri ande de 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 de. Rakasa kuri ande de 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 de. Rakase kete lete mandolo kose kete. Father, your peace, O God, that surpasses all understanding. We guard their hearts and minds through Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. Masotoria mandere de 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 de. Makaraba zekere makuri kaba baba yeke zekete leke mandoro kozekete de 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 de. Mandos kari brale kate mandara ra 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 ra. Re kata makuri ande leke zokoro koshikete. Re kata mandos kaye brale kata la kama kaye kezekete. Re kata mandoro kozekete leke mandoro kozekere baba baba baba. E kala baso kuri ande le boshkaya. Re Kata mandos kaye leke sotori amande de 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 o rakaza kata le kama kaye kete re ba 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 sotori amande de 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 ma re kasa sotori amande kale ba shikiti mandos soto ma le 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 kama santara na kodi. Thank you, Lord Almighty. Thank you for peace over our children, O God. Our children will not be anxious concerning anything whatsoever, O God. But Lord, they will learn to seek you in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, O God. And Lord, they will bring their desires before you, O God. They will bring their requests before you, O God. Knowing that you, the God Almighty, will answer unto them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will come to you in faith, O God. They will come to you knowing that you are a God that listens, a God that hears, O God. And a God that answers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty God. We give you praise, Jehovah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We're going to pray for direction for our children. 
that the Lord Almighty will lead them as they make decisions as they get older in life. They would have to make decisions almost on a daily basis, but that they will look to the God Almighty for all their choices in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible tells us in Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he would make straight your path. Another version says he will direct your path. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. We're going to pray that our children would trust in the Lord with all of their hearts, mm -hmm. not partial trust in God, not selective trust in God, but they will trust in the almighty God with all of their heart. Amen. And they will not lean on their own understanding. Amen. They will not lean on what they think we, their parents, have to offer them. They will not lean on their education. They will not lean on anything that they have as personal possessions. They will only look to God. They will not lean on their own understanding. Amen. And in every area of their lives, they would acknowledge you as God Almighty. Amen. And that way you will direct their path. Father, we come before you with our children, O God. Father, Lord, we ask, O God, that you take over their hearts, O God, that they will trust in you with all of their hearts, O God. They will not trust in you selectively, but they will trust in you completely with all of their hearts, O God. They will not not lean on their own understanding, oh God. They will not lean on their experiences. They will not lean on their knowledge, oh God. They will not lean on the wealth of their parents. They will not lean on riches. They will not lean on anything, oh God. But Lord, they will lean on you, the Almighty God, knowing that you are the one that will even give them understanding for life, oh God. And in all their ways, Jehovah, they will acknowledge you. And as they do this, oh God, you will direct their path in life, oh God. You will help them in their choices, oh God. When they need to turn right, may they not not turn to the left, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. When they need to move forward, may they not go back, oh God. When they need to take a step backwards, may they not go forward, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you will direct their path, oh God. You will help them in every decision they are going to make, oh God. You will help them with all of their choices, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, their direction will come from you, oh God. You will lead them, you will guide them, oh God. You will nurture them, Jehovah, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mandos Calibra de Cate Mandos Sutuya Baba 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 Mandereke Sapuria de 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 Oh God, even those that have been lost, Lord, you will bring them back, oh God. Even like the prodigal son that came back, you will bring back our children, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, none of them will be lost forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For those that might have made mistakes in life, Father, you will forgive. You will restore, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will bring them back onto the path of righteousness, oh God. Your mercy will find them, oh God. The blood of Jesus will speak for them, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, your mighty hand will pull them back, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we ask that the blood of Jesus Christ will speak concerning our children that may, they may have missed their path in life, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. And as you draw them back, oh God, you will restore them fully, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. They will come to your saving grace, oh God, and the knowledge of you, Lord Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ. You will establish them in you, oh God. And you will begin to direct their lives and their path, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we speak your word concerning them, oh God, our children that have been lost, oh God, that Lord, they will come back, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Father, you will restore our children, O God. Father, we ask for complete restoration, O God. Father, Lord, we ask for complete work in their lives, O God. The complete work of salvation, O God. We relieve upon our children, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Masata rebo shande de 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 re katamando ro kose kiri aba 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 e kanaba so kori ande de 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 oh thank you Lord Almighty thank you because none of our children will be lost oh God in the name of Jesus thank you Jehovah we bless your name Almighty God in Jesus name we have prayed Amen Amen we're still praying we're going to pray for protection for our children the God that is in heaven will keep them safe in this increasingly unsafe world. You know, there's so much that is going on. There's even no place you can call a safe place to live. Safety is only in God. Yes. You know, it's not those days where you say, oh, if I migrate to a particular country, I'll mm -hmm. be fine, I'll be safe. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. There's no place that is safe. Mm -hmm. Safety is only in God. in God. Psalm 91 verses 1 and 2 tells us, Psalm 91 verses 1 and 2, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. So we know that safety is only in God. So we're going to bring our children under the shadow of the Almighty, that they will dwell in the shelter of the Most High. It is not in our seemingly safe homes that safety lies. It is not in the countries that we migrate to with our children that safety lies. Safety is only in God. And that wherever we go, wherever our children will go, that the presence of God will be with them to keep them safe and to protect them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, Lord, we bring our children under the shadow of the Almighty God. We say, Lord, our children will dwell in the secret place of the Most High and they will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord, you are the refuge and the fortress of our children. Our children will trust in you alone. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, our children will go to the most high for safety, O God, and they will be protected by the all powerful God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our children will say to the Lord, You are our place of safety and protection. You are our God, and in you alone we will trust, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, our children will not seek safety outside of you, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Even in this period of coronavirus, Father Lord, our children will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. No sickness, no disease will come upon them, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Even as this second wave has come, it will not come near us, it will not come near our children, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The evil of this world will not come upon our children, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we envelope them with your love and your power, oh God. We say no evil has a right to come upon our children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our children will continually abide under your shadow, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. 
Father, thank, thank you for that glorify your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Father, thank you for looking me up with your Jehovah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Glory to you. Oh, we give you praise, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord, my Father. We bless your holy name, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We're still praying. We're going to pray that God will fill their hearts with joy that can Amen. only come from him. They will not seek joy from the things of this world. Amen. They will not seek joy from friends. They will not seek joy from alcohol. They will not seek pleasure from the things that this world has to Amen. offer. Because your word tells us in Psalm 16, verse 11, Psalm 16, verse 11, Amen. says you make known to me the path of life in your presence there is fullness of joy and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore that our children would know that it is only in the presence of god that there is fullness of joy Amen. and that it is only at the right hand of the most high god that there are everlasting pleasures Amen. the pleasures of this world are momentary they're temporal but in you oh god our pleasures are forevermore May our children look to you for their joy and their pleasures in the name of Jesus Christ. Right? Father, we bring our children before you, O oh God. Father, you will make known to them the paths of life, O oh God. You will make known to them how they should walk their journey in life, O oh God. We have prayed that, Lord, you will direct them, O oh God. Make known to them, O oh God, the path of life, O oh God. And they may find that in your presence there is fullness of joy, O oh God. And so, Lord, our children will continually desire your presence, O oh God. They will always desire your presence. They will hunger for your presence. They will thirst for your presence, O oh God. Knowing that therein they find fullness of joy. And that at your right hand, O oh God, they will find pleasures forevermore. They will not seek pleasures in the things of this world, O oh God. They will not seek for pleasure in sex, in alcohol, in drugs, O oh God. But Lord, they will seek for their pleasure in you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And for every child that may have done that evil part, O oh God, Father, we draw them back by the power of the Holy Ghost. We pull them back out of the hands of the enemy. We pull them from the clutches of Satan in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, you will restore them unto yourself, O oh God. You will bring them back into your presence, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against every power of the enemy over our children, O oh God. We destroy the yoke of bondage over any child, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we destroy every lie that the enemy has spoken into their heart, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mandoska ye broko doko doko segete re ma 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 shikata mande de 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 raka zoko chere mando doko segete de 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 raka zoko tolo ko segete lika ba 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 ye kete ke re kata mando doko segete de 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 mando doko segete de 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 re kata makaye ke lebo sundo ya mande de 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 akala ba segete ye de 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 mandoska ye kala ba sukur ya de 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 e kala ba ye ke segete di mando doko segete re kata mando doko Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah. We give you praise, mighty Father. Thank you, Lord, because you will save our children, O God. Father, thank you because they will find joy in you, O God. Thank you because fullness of joy will be found in you, our children, in the name of Jesus Christ. And they will find their pleasure in just abiding in you, Lord Almighty, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. You know, the Bible tells us many times that Jesus had compassion on the people. We're going to pray that our children will have hearts like that of Christ, that they will be compassionate children. They'll have Amen. compassion over on their friends. They'll have compassion on their siblings. They'll even have compassion on us, their parents, when there's a need for them too. The Bible tells us in Ephesians 4, 32, Ephesians 4, verse 32, be kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgive us all. Be kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgive us. That our children will be kind one to another in the mighty name of Jesus. That their hearts will be tender. Amen. That they will have compassion in their hearts. They will have a love for other people. They will have a love 
for the comfort of people around them. They will not be selfish. They will not only seek their own desires, but they will seek the desires, the joy and the peace of those around them too, in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, Lord, we ask, oh God, I that you give our children a heart like Christ, Christ, oh God. Give them compassionate hearts, oh God, God, that they'll be kind one to another, oh God. They'll be tender-hearted toward one another. They'll, another. they'll forgive one another, oh God. And they will not hold grudges against one another in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not hold any bitterness in their hearts, oh God. Even when we have done things that have not pleased them, oh God, Father, they will be able to forgive us, even as parents, oh God. There shall be no rivalry between our children, Lord Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ. They will seek for the good of one another in the mighty name of Jesus. They shall not compete amongst themselves, oh God, but they will help each one, each, each one, oh God. They will help one another to be the best that they can all be in the name of Jesus Christ. They will help one another to achieve their goals in life in the mighty name of Jesus. Right. Father, we pray concerning our children, oh God, recover so to the end, they will have compassion towards one another. Father, give them hearts like Christ, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Almighty. Thank you because our children will be compassionate, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Masotoria Mandere will shut up. Thank you, Jehovah. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We're still going to pray. We're going to pray for wisdom for our children. Yes. Wisdom, because it's wisdom that can guide people even to great heights. The Bible tells us in James 1 5 that if any of you lack wisdom, you should ask God for it. For God is generous, He enjoys giving to all people. So God will give you wisdom. I just read from the ICB, the International Children's Bible, that if any of you needs wisdom, you should ask God for it. Yes. God is generous. He enjoys giving to all people. So God will give you wisdom. Amen. We're going to pray that our children will have wisdom. Amen. That they'll be smart <clears throat> and they will embrace all that is good and right. Because Amen. that is what God will lead them into Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. They'll have wisdom to deal with their peers, the wisdom to deal with Jesus older Christ. people, wisdom to deal with younger people, Amen. wisdom to make decisions when Amen. they find themselves in difficult situations, and the wisdom of heaven will fill their hearts. Father, Lord, we bring our children before you, O oh God. Father, and Lord, you will release your wisdom from heaven upon them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let your wisdom be upon our children, O God. As many of them as lack wisdom now, Father, we ask you to send them, O God, that you will give wisdom upon them, O God, in the name of Jesus. That, Father, Lord, you will give wisdom to them generously, O God, in abundance, you release your wisdom to them, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we ask, O God, that your wisdom will be upon our children, O God. Father, you give them wisdom and understanding, O God. Father, they will understand times and seasons, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Mandele <laughs> <laughs> 
name we have prayed Amen. we're going to pray that our children will not despise the chastening of the lord that even when the lord speaks to them and disciplines them whether through us or even by still small voice in their hearts they will listen to god Amen. proverbs 3 11 to 12 proverbs chapter 3 verses 11 and 12 my son do not despise the lord's discipline and do not resent his rebuke because the lord disciplines those he loves as a father the son that he delights in as we have prayed earlier that our children will be assured of the love of God, may they also know that when the Lord rebukes them, he's rebuking them from a place of love and that they will listen and abide by the discipline of the Most High God in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we bring our children before you. Yes. And Lord, they will not despise your chastening in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. They will not despise your discipline over Amen. them in the mighty name of Jesus. That Lord, when you rebuke them, they will not resent you, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, Lord, because your love for them is assured, O oh God. They will know that as a father, you love them very dearly, O God. Thank you, Lord Almighty. Thank you, Lord Almighty. Give you praise, Jehovah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Lastly, we're going to pray Romans 8, 14 to 17 of our children. Romans 8, verses 14 to 17, that they will be led by the Spirit of God. The Bible Amen. says, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons and the daughters of God. Amen. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to, again to fear, Jesus. but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. Amen. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs Amen. of God and joint heirs with Christ. If Jesus. indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified with him together. That our children will be led by the Spirit of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Father, we bring our children before you. And Lord, for each child that is represented on this platform, oh God, whether by extensions or directly, oh God, Father, we declare, we decree, oh God, that they will be led by your spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, they have not received the spirit of fear or bondage, but they have received the spirit of adoption, where they are truly the children of the most high God. Father, we decree and declare over our children that they are led by your spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. As we round up, we just look at Psalm 115, Psalm 115, verse 13. It says, he will bless those who fear the Lord, both small and great. And then 14 says, may the Lord give you increase more and more, you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. I've just read from 13 to 15. Father, Lord God Almighty, let's unmute ourselves and just agree. We're going to agree that the Lord will give us increase more and more. We are in jesus name we have prayed we're going to agree that joy and gladness is our portion in jesus name that no evil is allowed to come near us in the mighty name of jesus christ we will have joy and gladness in our homes in jesus name over our children and over everything that concerns us in Jesus' name. Father, we agree this morning, oh God, that our portion, oh God Almighty, is joy and gladness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We say as the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost, that's our portion in Jesus' name. We thank you for this morning, oh God. We give you praise, mighty God. We lift up your holy name. We say our God is faithful our God is dependable our God is mighty thank you Lord thank you Jehovah in Jesus name we have prayed thank you God let's just welcome joy and gladness right now I want you to open your mouth and say I welcome joy and gladness into my home in, into our hearts into everything that concerns us in the name of Jesus thank you Father Lord we just give you praise thank you for a wonderful week we bless your holy name please unmute yourselves and let's just end this together, declaring the in Jesus' name, amen, amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. 
the Lord Amen. our God. Lost Amen. Lord child, we will lost Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. The Lord, Amen. Lord, Amen. Lord, Amen. Lord, 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 Lord,